What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, we're going to be checking out my ex still pays my bills. This is by this person. She goes by Blue Jazz on Instagram. I think her name is Blue Jazz in real life. I'm not sure. But we did talk about this person on the In the Clutch podcast. So, if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. I'm going to link down the In the Clutch podcast for you guys to go check out our latest video. Um, but yeah, man, we got to talk about this. I wanted to really actually see what she actually said. I know when we did talk about it on the podcast, they were basically giving me the, you know, the notes of what she was saying. But I actually got to see and probably try to understand her rationale because this doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm sorry if I'm in a relationship with someone and we cut off the relationship. I'm not obligated to pay your bills. Let's just keep it a stack. Unless you were my wife. You know, or you have like a child of mine's, I'm not like I'm not just obligated to do that. So I gotta understand her rationale and figure out what's really going on here. But appreciate all the love and support. Uh road to 50k and uh let's see what Blue Jazz is talking about. Story from the beginning, but like I was dating this person for like four or five years, and in the first two years I supported myself, but also helped them build their business. And this, like, I dedicated all my space and time and everything to their personal business. And um, I ended up getting them like a $50,000 loan. I ended up doing like a whole bunch of things that set them up to be in the space where they were able to make 3,500, let's say a night on their space or whatever. So then that's the, at the second year, I was probably like 23, 24 years old when I did that. So then when the person got me the car and the apartment and everything, I was like 27, but our relationship was already like, eh, dying off. We were like friends, but you know what I mean? And to this day he pays for it. So does it make it different that I helped him become more established or get into a space where those bills are able to be paid off it because different. I helped him get there, even but though we're no longer you together. Say it that way, when you say it that way, it is different because now he feels entitled. There's an entitlement now. He feels entitled that he owes you. Just like you said, if you if you were in this relationship and you owe him so much, when you got your first big check, you're gonna give him some money because you're like, thank you. Yeah, great. That's man. what he's doing for you. Right. He's saying, mm -hmm. help. Thank you for helping set me up. Without this, I wouldn't have this. And for that. I don't care that you're dating somebody else. I just want to make sure you're straight. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure. Hmm. See, I didn't know that part. Um, I don't know. This is an interesting one. This is actually not as cut as dry as I thought it was going to be. The way she's explaining it is she helped grow his business to where it's at now. So now that they're not together, it's like on some well shit. Well, you did help me out. I got you on the on the car or whatever and it's like i get that i understand that but at the same time it's i me personally i just even if i know you helped me right you know what i'm saying and you helped me get to that point but we just don't work out unless they're like there was some actual business agreement or you know what i'm saying say the loan that you did take out and you didn't you know what i'm saying you took that loan out to help me get to where I'm at. If anything, I'd probably help with that more than anything else because that's on the business side of things. If you need help with the loan that you, you know what I'm saying, took out, you know what I'm saying, even though that's your responsibility and you chose to do it, I would, you know, help out towards that. But I can't see myself helping out in the sense of, okay, well, I'm about to pay the rest of your car note and I'm going to pay off the, you know, the remainder the remainder of your lease wherever you stay at you like i don't know that's me personally i i think if we're not together on that level i think you should take care of your bills you know what i'm saying i should take care of my bills and you know what i'm saying leave it at that if i do happen to give you a car that's in my name i do have the right to take the car back not saying that i would it just depends on the situation and, and you know where you are financially if you can make the payments cool make those payments you know what i'm saying but if there's some issues and i'm starting to see you can't make the payments or whatever the situation is then you know we will have to adjust things financially i may have to you know take the car trade it in something we'd have to do something but i'm not just gonna willingly just spend 
unnecessary money on a car that's not even mine you know what i'm saying and apparently i think she's in a, a whole nother relationship i could be wrong i'm not gonna go through the whole clip or whatnot i just wanted to check that part out and uh kind of give my thoughts and opinions on that um but yeah man uh, for me i don't know man I, I i i i get the the sense of you help me so i'm gonna help you but i i feel like there's an, another way you can do that you know what i'm saying paying for my car you know that i bought you i mean i, I get the gesture like i like i said if you're my girlfriend we're married we have a, a child together I understand that, but, you know, I, I just, I don't know, man, to me, personally, I don't think I could, I just don't think I could, no matter, no matter if you did help me, like I said, if it's business related, sure, I, I got you, you know what I'm saying, if you, like, really going through it, like, you know what I'm saying, maybe, it just depends on how our relationship was, you know what I'm saying, so I, I can't even just sit there and say, Oh, I'm gonna cut you off. It really just depends on how our relationship was and you know how I feel about it. But actively, I just can't see myself personally just spending extra money on some bills that I, you know, what I'm saying, you know, for an item that I gave to you, you have to take care of because we're not together no more. You know, that's just me personally, you know. So when she explains it like that, it, it does add some context, but I'm still on the fence of, nah, you're going to have to take care of that or, you know, I'm going to have to get my stuff back. Like, it's just one of those two things because if you don't make the payments, you know what I'm saying, they're not going to come after you because your name is not signed on the car. They're going to come after me. That's going to hit my credit score and all the other stuff. So comment down below. Let me know. Would y'all still be willing to help your ex out even though they were uh, maybe a big factor in your business growing would y'all still be willing to send money to them to take care of you know whatever bills they have would y'all would would y'all do that or would y'all be like nah i'm good on that but i appreciate all the love and support road to 50k my mom's calling me right now so i gotta answer that love you guys catch y'all next time